This week was another busy week on Jones Street. The House took up their budget and ultimately passed it yesterday. We also saw several pieces of legislation related to transgender youth filed. The House Majority Party gained a new member, and the Senate bill filing deadline came and went. Both the House and Senate are on spring break next week. And once they return, I think it's safe to say we'll all be on Senate budget watch. In the meantime, here's a few deets on some of the bills we're tracking. Senate Bill 20, Safe Surrender Infants, includes language that addresses confidentiality, immunity, and duties of those in temporary custody of the surrendered infant. The topic is a priority of the Child Fatality Task Force, And y'all, after a few weeks of inaction, this week we saw the bill pass the House and is now headed back to the Senate for a concurrence vote. We also saw the filing of Senate Bill 467, the 2023 Momnibus Act. It is a multi-pronged bill that seeks to address inequities in maternal health and morbidity by, in part, the creation of a grant program implicit biases training for physicians, and diversifying lactation consultant training, among tons of other elements. This Democrat-sponsored bill was filed Monday, April 3rd, and has uh, passed its first reading and been assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee. We also saw Senate Bill 472, the School Psychologist Omnibus Bill. It's a bipartisan piece of legislation to increase access to school psychologists, uh, in part by raising compensation, establishing a grant program aimed at recruiting additional school psychologists, mandating the Department of Public Instruction to create one full-time school psychologist recruitment and retention coordinator, as well as creating a school psychologist internship program, among other aspects of the bill. Senate Bill 472 has been assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee after subsequently passing its first reading. Then there's Senate Bill 473, legislation seeking to create a forgivable loan program for students who agree to practice as primary care providers or psychiatrists. The bill includes an $8 million appropriation, and the bill language says that loan applicants are eligible for up to $100,000 each year for four years. The bill was filed Monday and has been assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee after passing its first reading. We also saw Senate Bill 474, Accessing Midwives Act. In this legislative proposal, does exactly what the title states. This bill would afford midwives licensing in the state of North Carolina. The bill has one sponsor and was filed and assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee Tuesday, April 4th, after passing its first reading. Then there was House Bill 253, Prevent Students from Harm Act. This bipartisan bill seeks to update existing state law related to bullying prevention and health education at school. The bill adds language related to preventing harassment and bullying and mandates character education. The bill also adds qualified nonprofits to the list of personnel who can deliver educational programs at school to prevent child sex abuse and child trafficking. Finally, it adds two topics to the list of required health education programs, prevention of child sex abuse and trafficking and prevention of suicide, abuse, and neglect. The bill successfully passed the House Tuesday in its first reading in the Senate on Wednesday and is now assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee. And then on the House side, we saw House Bill 382, Registered Nurses in Schools, a bill that would allow registered nurses with at least two years experience in either hospital or health clinic settings to be eligible to serve as school nurses. House Bill 382 passed the Senate last week 
and went on to pass its first reading and head to the House Rules and Operations Committee Tuesday of this week. All right, y'all. Remember, you can always check our live bill tracker anytime to get updates on these and many other bills we're monitoring. It's on our website and linked in the legislative update email. As always, thank you so much for all you do for kids and families. Now go make it a great one, y'all.